Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. I'm bringing you this review today for pinkypromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you'll get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at pinkypromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today we're gonna to look at this beautiful new style by Raquel Welch. This is Wavy Day. And the color on this one is RL924SS Iced Cafe Latte. More on her in just a minute. start talking about Wavy Day by Raquel Welch. What a beautiful new style. This is a really pretty subtle wave um, all throughout the wig, mid-length, you know, um, these are fibers that are going to, they are touching my shoulders and I have a pretty long neck. So you are going to have to do, you know, your heat friendly fiber care on the ends of this. She's just a little bit longer than their simmer wig. Otherwise she really reminds me of the simmer style, which has always been one of my favorites ever since it came out. So, uh, but just really, really pretty. I've seen her on a lot of people. She's, I know she's become super popular. <laughs> so um, I'm excited to get to review her as well. And this color is so pretty. I have reviewed this color before, I think on their current events wig. Um, so this is the RL924 SS Iced Cafe Latte, which is a beautiful summer Brond. I mean, if you usually wear brunettes, this is a great shade to try to just if you just wanna have like a highlighted brunette look, you know, it's, it, you still have plenty of your brunette going through there, but then you have these really beautiful highlights. So we'll cover the color in a minute. All right, I'm gonna do a spin so you can see her all the way around and then we'll get into all her specs and stuff. So very pretty. My left, the back, <clears throat> my right. And back to the front. Okay, so she does have the sheer lace front that they're so famous for. Looks really, really nice, of course. Extended, you know, down onto the ear tabs, which I'll show you in a minute. And then she has a full mono top. So I have her parted on the left because that's where the part was out of the box, but you can part her anywhere, you know, on this mono top that you would like to part her, which is really, really nice. So I have good coverage around the face here. She's fitting me on my petite head really well, ear to ear. No problem with the cap impinging on my ears or anything, but there's definitely extra room forehead to nape on my petite head. This is an average size wig, so this is not a petite. So um, I do feel like there's some extra cap up here on the top. And when I first put it on, it felt like I had a like a cone head kind of up here. You know how you feel like you have a bubble up there? But this is one of their memory caps and the memory cap tends to mold to your head the longer you have it on. And it definitely seems like it is calming down and hugging my head, um, you know, but circumference wise, it's fitting me really nicely. So I think petites, average and above average would be able to wear this particular cap. So really, really nice, really pretty. Okay, so measurement wise for wavy day, we have an 11, 0.5 inch measurement here in the front. We have a 12.5 inch measurement from the crown, 9.5 inch sides, 11.5 inch back here in the back. And then her nape is 7.5 inches. Weight wise, she comes in at 4.3, super lightweight, super airy. The only thing I wanna remind you of is that these are the true to life fibers. As I said, you are gonna have to care for the ends on this one. So, you know, keep in mind, are you, the type of person who is comfortable caring for these type of fibers or do these type of fibers scare you to death? Because <laughs> you will get some clumping. These fibers react really, really nicely if you just put a little heat on them. So what I tend to do with these wavy ones is just take a curling iron. Sometimes I use the flat iron if it's just on the very, very end, you know, but use a curling iron just kind of, just give it a little, you know, little heat over those ends. Usually you're gonna see most of your clumping, you know, on your nape and underneath. So you don't have to do a perfect job, you know, with your waves, but just focus on those ends. When you have a wave like this, don't go in and try to do your whole wave, you know, unless you have, you know, frizzing or whatever, all the way up to here. Focus on the ends and you'll keep your ends really nice. So I'll pop her off and we can look at the interior of her cap. Okay, so there's that parting space, very nice. All right, love a Rocco Welch cap. They're always comfortable, always so well-made. So here is your sheer lace front. 
very nice. And like I said, extends down onto your ear tabs. So you have really great coverage of, you know, that appearance of that hair growing right out of your head, all the way across your forehead, really past your temples just a bit. Then she has the full motto top, which is really nice, allows you to part her anywhere. I'm not feeling a lot of hermitees. I'm going to have to check maybe right at the wefting. That's, you know, the only place if there is any at all. It's not a poofy wig. It's very natural density. So she's got the soft belt ear tabs with a nice piece of metal in there. This is the memory cap three. So you're going to see that silicone lining. That's what I was talking about. Will, you know, mold to your head uh, the longer you have the wig on. You don't have to have it on that long. Your body temperature kind of works with the silicone and then it'll just feel like it's part of your head, which is really nice. She has an extended felt nape. She has nice, smooth, flat Velcro adjusters. Plenty of stretch in the cap. Plenty of stretch in your circumference. So as I said, this is working okay for my petite head and it's definitely gonna stretch above average. Okay, let's take a look at this color. So this is the RL924SS Iced Cafe Latte. As I said, it is one of those perfect bronze. It works for brunettes, it will work for blondes. If they like a darker blonde, this shows a lot of the brunette. But it's a great transition color if you wear brunettes and you wanna try some blondes. You're not gonna get a ton of blonde, but you're gonna get enough of a highlight and everything to have you know, a little experience with uh, dipping your toe in the blonde pond. So, okay, so the color's described as a medium ash brown base with golden blonde highlights and dark brown roots. So you can definitely see that ash brown and that golden blonde, very different colors. So very beautiful highlight on this ash brown. You do have a rooting on this one. When you see shadow shade that you're gonna have rooting on it. And then that rooting is gonna be present anywhere you separate the hair. So if you're styling it up, styling it half up, half down, whatever. Um, you can see the rooting down here around the face, but they did place the lighter color, you know, right around the face, the lighter highlight. But you can still see that, you know, base through there. Some people like the light highlight, you know, right by the face. The only time you're really gonna see it on this one is if you wear it pulled back. So if you're not a huge fan, the way it swoops, you know, next to the forehead, you're not gonna see it as much. So really pretty. Okay, here's the color just in regular room lighting, overhead room lighting, indoor, obviously. Love this color. All right, so let's talk about styling with this one. So I have my wide tooth comb here. Um, you wanna preserve your wave pattern in these types of wigs, and these are heat-friendly fibers. So, you know, you are gonna obviously have to go in and do a little combing, you know, but you wanna be gentle, gentle, gentle. The key to your heat-friendly fibers is baby them. <laughs> Be gentle with them. They are beautiful, they are realistic, but they are more care. So, um, you know, when you do have to comb through, like I didn't really comb through these waves that much to review this because I really think initially when you get her, in my opinion, I, I like the waves to be intact. So that's why I didn't do a whole lot of, you know, I had to straighten out the front. So I combed through the front a little bit. But you know, the more you comb through these, the more you rake on them with a comb, that kind of thing, the more you're gonna start to loosen your waves and start to have your frizzing and stuff like that. So just, <laughs> I can't stress enough, baby your little fibers here, you know? And when you, after you, if you do have to comb through it, cause inevitably you're gonna have to, you know, at some point, use some of your silk 
styling spray, like I like the Restore spray that Hair You Wear makes, spray some of that and then give it a little scrunch and just let it dry and you'll see that you do get your waves to come back. So, you know, don't be afraid of these fibers. I'm not trying to scare you to death, but I'm just saying they do need a little extra care and, um, you know, they are more tender. They just need a, gent a gentler touch and they need more care. So, okay, so let's talk about styling. So. She has low density, so she goes behind the ears really nicely. So glass to sunglasses, no problem. They go up on your head, no problem. So very, very easy. These uh, ear tabs are nice and thin, you know, very close to my face, so they're not bulky or anything like that. She looks really cute with a headband. Now you could just headband her like this, and then you've got a little forehead coverage with that bang. Or if you wanted to, you know, you could pull out one of these waves and have a little wave by your face. Y'all know I, whoops. You know, I like to do that. Very pretty. So she looks really pretty like half up, half down. But again, you know, just be gentle with your waves when you're styling her, you know. You could pull down more hair, pull or pull this back in it because that front part is long enough that you could get that into your, you know, into a clip. And then she has the length and everything for ponytails, for updos, that kind of thing. But again, just remember, heat friendly fibers <laughs> and be gentle with them. But she makes a cute little ponytail. I think I might do something softer on her with a, with a ponytail, at least initially, you know, then once they get some wear, then you know, you might use your elastics, but you know, a soft scrunchie or something like that would be gentler on your fibers. So, but she's just really, really pretty. I like her just the way she is. <laughs> I like her wave pattern. I like the way the hair lays, like I said, you know, gently across the forehead. Looks really, really pretty. Okay, so thank you to Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information below this video. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.